Welcome to Basic Skills. Today we're going to be butchering some rabbits. So I just wanted to go over real quick what, what all you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a stick, a nice heavy stick. Um, this is just the end of a shovel handle. Works real good. Just to knock them out with, stun them. You're going to need a bigger knife to uh, do some of the heavier cutting, some of the tougher stuff. Small knife to do skinning and some of the easier stuff. Um, a couple of containers to rinse your knives in. You're going to want some water in those. A bigger container for when you're done with the rabbit, you can throw it in there, throw the liver in there um, to keep it cold, fill that with cold water and keep them chilled till you can get them inside and bag them and get them in the freezer. You're also going to want a half barrel or something to, for all the guts to fall into so that you keep everything contained and ready to throw in the compost pile and then you're going to want somewhere to hang them up by the feet. So that's that's it. It's pretty simple. You can do it in your backyard, wherever. It's It's not doesn't take a lot of equipment. So right as we get started, I, there's a couple things I want to address. My last butchering video, a lot of people have commented and said that they'd rather shoot the rabbit with like a 22 or something. Um, if that's if that's the way you want to do it, that's fine. I have a couple problems with that wet method. Um, first of all, I don't think it lets them bleed out properly, and secondly, um, especially if you're working with other people, it it uh, raises the risk level because there's a gun laying around and somebody using it all the time. You got to watch where you're shooting and everything. Um, and if you're doing a lot of rabbits, say a couple hundred in a day, that's a lot of ammunition. Um, I'm a big fan of guns, but I don't. I think the bonking method is preferable to shooting them. All right, so we're ready to dispatch the first rabbit. One of the m important things to remember is to dispatch at least two at a time because then it lets them bleed out completely um, before you, you get started. So I'm gonna dispatch this one, hang him up, and let him bleed out, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dispatch the next one, let it start bleeding out, and then come back to this one and start skinning it and everything. So let's go ahead and get started. You wanna grab it by the haunches, right by the back legs here, and hold it like that. You'll take your stick, and then you want to you want to knock it right behind right right on top of the ears there so that'll knock it right out and then it won't feel anything after that so I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice whack at it all right so now it's knocked out gonna go ahead hang up hang it up just by its feet here you don't want to get too much of the foot or else you'll start having issues um, when you go to skin it. All right, so now it's knocked out. You're gonna take your knife and you wanna just, you grab the head right here. You wanna just go right above your thumb and you want nice stream of blood to come out like that. All right, so he's been hanging, ready to start skinning. Um, so you're gonna take, you want the belly facing toward you. Knife goes up a little bit inside there. This is a buck, so he might be a little bit tougher to skin. Um, and then you kind of bring the bring the slice up to the foot, and then go around the back with the skin. You know, peel the skin all around, off, all the way around. You get to the back. You can either rip it, or if it's tough, cut it and bring it, pull it all down. You don't want to cut any tendons at the back because then your whole, all the meat starts coming down too. If you do, it's not a big deal. It just looks a little funny. Then you can cut a little bit to open it up, bring the skin right down, so the whole hip is exposed like that. Then do the same thing on the other side. So cut up, bring the skin up by the foot, Okay, so now both hips are exposed like that. You go around the back and you wanna get your hand through behind like that so there's a hole through. Um, and then you'll take your big knife and you'll set, stick it through there. And you just wanna grab on, you want your knife to go right through, grab the tail, pull the tail down, and then cut up using your big knife so you cut the whole tail section off like that. One shot, try not to get 
too much of the meat as you go through. And then you pull that down a little bit, back around the front, and you can start pulling from here. Cut anything off that you don't need to leave, to keep stuff from... You don't want to cut too much stuff off so that it leaks, but you don't want to leave stuff that gets in the way. So, now you just grab the whole skin, start going down to the head. If it starts ripping out the belly like that, you can grab the center here. There's some little tendons and stuff in there, and that's what's tearing your belly open. You just get your finger behind there and pull them right off or cut them off. And then keep going see now the belly isn't tearing at all. Once you get down near the head, you pull till the elbows pop out. Then pull it out, Put your get your finger through all the layers of stuff behind there. And pull it out so it's exposed. You want to pull down near the end. If you pull it too far, it's the skin will rip and then you'll have hair sticking out. You'll have to cut that off. But pull it down. Try not to rip skin. If you do, it's not a big deal. Just cut it off. But then you go through the tendon right there. Pop it. Like that. So that's all clean. Other side. Get your finger through. Pull it up. So everything's open. Out. Cut the tendon. Pop it over and come up with your knife and cut the back off like that. All right, so now it's just the head left and the gutting. So we'll just take the take this. Um, once in a while, if the skin is not very tough, you'll end up when you're pulling on this and trying to cut, you'll end up ripping the skin off. So sometimes it's good if you try to get ears or something in there that won't rip, and then you just make a nice cut get through the backbone which can be a little bit tough ah, there we go perfect all right so now it's all ready to ready to get all right so now we got the skin and everything taken off so now we're ready to start the gutting um, so we're gonna grab it right here and just kind of slice up don't cut any of the guts on the inside and don't cut your fingers all right so we kind of got an opening there um, so we can see on the inside a little bit. We can make it a little bigger here. Just make sure we don't cut anything we shouldn't be. There we go. Alright, so now up at the top, the stuff, so everything kind of goes from bigger to smaller up here. So we want to make sure we get everything we don't want to eat out from up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of you want to make sure the legs are spread far apart so everything wants to separate. And you're going to slice through the very edge of the meat there, down to the gristle, and then you're going to pop it. It should pop forward a little bit. Slice again. And keep going. Um, and that should get you through. Alright, so now we got a nice opening to where everything's supposed to be. And we can stick our thumb in there and pull everything out. Um, you want to make sure nothing leaks on the meat, but other than that, just make sure you get everything out. Um, cut anything off as you go that you don't want, so make sure everything comes down nicely, and you can let this pull down and drop. So anything that leaks out is going to be past the meat there. And then we'll just keep moving forward. Um, Reach your hand in there, pull all the guts out um, that you can. The liver is kind of toward the front, so you get down to that here, and you can pull it off. If it's good, if it's got a bunch of white dots in it, you don't want to keep it. If it doesn't have any white dots in it, or only has like one or two, then you can save it. Um, pull the little green thing off there. This isn't like a chicken one, so it won't break. Um, and so this liver looks real good, so I'm going to throw it in the pot with the other stuff. And then there's this little membrane up at the front. You want to just break through that, and that's where your lungs and your heart are going to be in front of that. 
So you reach in there, pull your lungs, heart, and then the windpipe comes out as well. And you're all clean on the inside. So there's nothing up here that's, that you don't want to eat. There's nothing in there. Um, we left the kidneys in. They're right here, kind of surrounded by fat. Most people just leave them in. If you want to take them out, you can. Um, but most people just leave them in. Uh, all right. So then we can take the feet off. Want to just slice the skin on the front up a little bit. You get to the knuckle there. Cut that tendon. Snap it back. Once it's snapped back, you can just cut up on the back. Um, through that tendon, around the meat. Left a little bit of hair on that. Just cut that off. Like that. Same thing on the other side. Slice up. Tendon by the knuckle. Snap it over. Then cut tendon at the back. Come up underneath the hair. And across there. Again, I'll lift a little hair. Depends on the rabbit and everything. If you can get up there without any hair and how you skinned it at the top at the beginning. But there we go. So it's all clean. Here, you can look in there. There's no lungs, nothing. Just the kidneys. It's all open and clean down here. So you're good to go. Just throw it in your pot. Make sure there's not too much hair on it. Throw it in your pot. And when you take it, inside you can bag it and, and throw it in the freezer so this certainly isn't the funnest job on the planet I wouldn't really want to do this all the time but it needs done and if somebody's gonna do it it might as well be me because they're my rabbits and I know I'm gonna do it right so the last things um, make sure you rinse them off real good when you get inside and put them in Ziploc bags or whatever and throw them in the freezer and then all the guts and stuff, compost them, make some really good dirt for the garden or to spread out and make hay to feed your rabbits, whatever that, whatever you do with that. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing and check out some of my other videos. And see you next time.